Dedication, hard work. Dedication, hard work. Dedication, hard work. On one man army, one man army. The world can go against me. I'm still coming on top. Dedication, hard work. broke my glasses you should have seen the other guy and they say preschoolers are tough and so thank you for being here it's humbling i've got a lot of stuff in the pipeline like another channel a proper studio and the rogan microphone all that i'm moving country soon so hopefully the next video everything will be completely different except your inadequate host and i don't think that try on haul videos are about the clothes just a hunch and yes i did watch several of them for research purposes apparently such as obsess harness lingerie try on haul 3.5 million 13 year olds were not using dad's computer correctly that afternoon for your homework yes there's homework i want you to click on that video preferably for family film night and I can confirm that bloody hell she found a gap in the YouTube adult filter algorithm. James tries on pieces of string science coming soon. Ty Lopez is destroying bodybuilding.com faster than my hairline receded when I was a teenager. Introducing their new sponsored athlete. Lifetime thinks you are morons Natty Onomi Ega. Of all the people you could choose for the evolution of your brand. When Ty Lopez takes over the literal name bodybuilding, you're all screwed. And in this week's Roid Rage... <laughs> He's been on too many Elliot Hulse Alpha Male Masterclasses, I reckon. So he was screaming at that woman because she was too long in a machine or something. A Smith machine of all the things to fight over. But seriously, what a clown. October 2022, on camera, women fight over gym equipment. Video goes viral. The video, which has gone viral on social media, shows a woman sneaking in and pushing another who is in line to use a piece of a gym equipment, the Smith machine. He isn't worth it, ladies. He doesn't even have a natural bar path. Gracie Ann Barbosa has hit 10 million followers. Her fitness content is full of nuanced informational videos. We've all clearly been doing car phrases wrong. Sorry, if you don't know influencer Gracie Ann, she's a grinder. More hard work dedication right there. Meek can't be bothered to show her profile name, a gazillion follows over her social misleading platforms who calls herself Crazy Abs. She's known for her Crazy Abs and she's my new favorite fitness influencer because she has Crazy Abs. And so this is sincere representation of what is possible with chicken, broccoli and embracing the grind. So she shows her eight pack, very clearly defined eight pack, no matter the pose, doing squats in the kiddies pool as you do. Take your pick. Literally any pick, any video, even relax the eight pack as peacocking as proudly as me throwing up that scrunch ball of paper in the bin messy hotel room doesn't matter. In all her posts, she has achieved greater ab definition than most elite fitness competitors achieve on stage when they're full of PEDs, taking under the count of fat burners that turn their thyroid into Speedy Gonzales, and just for fun are also starving themselves. And she dominates all of them, even in the bog she's stage ready. I love you muscles woman, biceps wonderful, pectoral amazing beautiful woman, big muscles woman, biceps wonderful, amazing muscles woman, biceps wonderful, amazing muscles woman, biceps. You little sweet talker you Marco. It's just all the leg raises with the dumbbell and that, hashtag progressive underload. And she took no shortcuts. Don't forget to drink your water, people. But not just that, she sells the coldest water, the puddle outside my house disagrees, but it's her TikTok that I love because she shows you how to get crazy abs. Want to get abs? Click on the link and it takes you to the clinic. Sorry, it takes you to her workout videos. It's literally unbelievable. And that, kids, is why you can't have nice things like a phone, the internet and access to the Liver King's doctor. Round one. I bet bodybuilders hate the phrase roid rage, and I'm not too sure how evidence-based it is. Of course, when it comes to side effects of PED use, we have many of them, but I don't know the actual research into the potential mood aggression and psychological effects. It's probably just people being dicks in the gym. Just minding my own business while working out with a friend, and then this happened. Him and his TikTok, he need to work the f out. Give that man a medal. You know, you just made me money right there, you know that, right? I'm gonna make that as a TikTok. No, you're not. Okay, maybe not. Basically, in the gym, people are arguing over phones, t-shirts. I know you're talking, buddy. What are you talking talking about? Talking across the gym, what do you think? What are you talking about? I don't know, what are you talking about? Yeah, you know, you're talking about the phone. Yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Or just for lifting challenging weight and making, you know, noise. Right, push down. Oh, Did you guys stop banging that barbell? Sorry. It's really annoying. Yeah, and I'm going to teach a yoga class very shortly. And breathe. And when people bang those barbells on the floor, it gets me really annoyed. I would love a yoga class with her. I would come out of my downwards dog ready to start pointless arguments with someone just because they were, you know, training. Sorry's not good enough. Stop banging it. 
Not sure about the socks and towel combo, but he's literally doing nothing wrong. In this clip, one bro starts arguing with another bro who you can't see because he's filming it about their quads or something. Come on. Yeah, 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 man, come on, come on. Y'all chill out, man, please. You look at Let's you, my look boy. Like. Yeah. Let's see what your legs look like. Come you on. You cute, my boy. Yeah. Y'all yeah. yeah. come on, man. Y'all see yeah. Yeah, good. So admire me, I guess, if you're not, if you're not stressing for me, bro. Wait. When someone asks you to lift up your shirt in the gym, always answer, only if you scream at me like a werewolf during full moon. I think people just need to hurry and chill. Why does he keep doing these fake thumbnails? Pushing his stomach out like he's auditioning to become Homer Simpson? They should have just left him on the island. He did a Bear grills, but he didn't drink his own weed. Connor Murphy's not impressed. But let's get serious for a minute. I would now like to expose a gym creep. So this bloke walked from there to there and sat down on the Smith machine, preparing to perform some overhead presses to better his health and fitness, which is completely unacceptable. And I want to congratulate Fabulous Nobody on TikTok who captioned it, don't be this guy, and shared his likeness with the TikTok world. I would give you a standing ovation, but I can't be bothered. What's a creeper's favorite type of shoes. Well, not tap shoes. Tap dancing your way across the gym floor, creeping. And so he glances over for a split second. I've seen UK Prime Ministers last longer than that. Political. Is it London Underground rules now in the gym? Ice down and forward. Behave yourself. He's training, you're training. Let's just leave it at that. Unless you want to upload a TikTok of how to fix my boiler, which would be more appreciated. Hashtag Thought Daddy Thursday. So Shaq is in shape. As a man in his 50s, I love to see it. Well done to him. And he's now regularly posting his fitness updates. And he's now doing skits, which can only mean one thing. Yep, he's selling supplements. Look out, Mr. Olympia. Shaq is fueled by GF9 and coming for your title. 682 mean increase in natural growth hormone levels. That sounds right. So let's just assume those made up numbers are correct. Even if you were increasing hormone levels, what people have to understand through these types of supplements is that these increases are transient in nature. They're short term lasting in nature. And that's so important and left out. I think he took his 682% increase before his free throws. I'm just pretending I know about basketball. And so I like Shaq, but I'm not sure about some of the supplements he sells. Introduce the Lunk Alarm version 2.0. That is hilarious. Her reaction was brilliant too. I would also laugh. I appreciate the message. <laughs> If you're strong enough to do handstands on weights, you're strong enough to put them back, something like that. Do we do all need to remember to respect the rules of book bag next to machine. Jim Rett gets mad and thinks he owns the machine. I waited to see if anyone was using it. A book bag doesn't secure your spot on a machine, people. Interrupted my set and didn't approach with respect. Oh, no, I'm using it, I'm using it. My stuff is right down. What are you talking about? I'm using my stuff is right down. But what are you talking about? I'm gonna move you. Bro, I have my camera ready. I don't care. I don't care about the camera, bro. You wanna step outside? Yo, we out, bro. What's up? What's up? What's up? But if you're both gonna step outside, then someone can sneak in and take the machine that you're fighting over. Come on, fellas, think about it. When people bang those barbells on the floor, it gets me really annoyed.